Hello everyone, recently Gold.com has published a power ranking of Ballon d'Or 2021 and when I was checking it, I obviously found the dominant names like Lionel Messi, Lewandowski, Jorginho, Conte, Lukaku. And outside the top 5, there were Mbappe, De Bruyne and Ronaldo. As you already know that Copa America and Euro was held in these years, so in case of Ballon d'Or, these two tournaments will have significant influence. And after winning Copa America, Lionel Messi is everyone's favorite. But what about other candidates? I wanted to take a deeper look and explore the possibility of other candidates. Let's have a real picture who really deserves this year's Ballon d'Or. So the first player that I am going to discuss is Lewandowski. In 2021, he has scored 34 goals, 4 assists and owned Bundesliga and Club World Cup. All of them are very much positive for him. If we want to consider negatives about him, then first of all, UCL comes in mind. Obviously, he suffered from injury, Bayern Munich crashed out in quarterfinal against PSG and even if he considered a European Championship, Poland didn't show much promise and Lewandowski, most probably, he didn't have much to do, so he had to leave after group stage. So I think Lewandowski should be within the top two players who might win Ballon d'Or. The next name is Jorginho. He is the player who has won European Championship, Champions League and also he has scored 5 goals and 2 assists in 2021. But from his position, I don't think that goal or assist will influence much in decision making. While winning both Euro and Champions League is a dominant factor for him, if you ask me whether he was the best player of Chelsea, I would say no. At the same time, if you ask me whether he was the best player of Italy, I would again say no. But definitely he has played a significant role, though that was not that much dominant. If we want to remember the way Modric won in 2018, I think that fool might come handy but in my opinion, he has a decent chance to be within top 3. And the next player is Kante. He won Champions League but the performance that brought him in discussion is his Champions League performance especially in the knockout stage. But again, France's failure in European Championship has certainly decreased his possibility. Also, he was not much discussed about his performance in the league or also in the European Championship so I think that that could be a major blow to his chances. If we want to discuss about other players, definitely Mbappe's names come first. In 2021, he has scored 29 goals with 7 assists, but at the same time, I don't think he has a chance at all. He was great against Barcelona in Champions League, but that's that. If France did win European Championship, I think he could have been in the contention, but whatsoever happened, right now I don't think he has any chance at all. And the next player is Ronaldo. Juventus didn't win the league, but he was the top performer. And same case goes about Portugal. Even with a great team, Portugal didn't perform that well. Ronaldo own golden board but I think that Portugal's early exit and Juventus lackluster performance both will hinder his chances and right at this moment I don't think he has any chance at all. And one more player we need to talk about he is Kevin De Bruyne. He owned the league with Manchester City and scored 10 goals and 10 assists in 2021 but at the same time I think that his injury crisis has played a significant role and at the same time Belgium's exit in Euro hasn't helped at all. And of course in this case I will have to mention Lukaku. He had a terrific season with Inter Milan, owned the league, he was leading from the front but at the same time the case of Champions League and Europe hasn't helped at all. So I think it will be difficult for him to make within the top 3. So out of all this mess, what about Lionel Messi? How good was he? In 2021, he has scored 33 goals with 14 assists but at the same time, we will have to keep in mind that he hasn't owned La Liga. Also, his performance in UCL was not much to talk about. So winning this Copa America has definitely helped a lot for Lionel Messi and not only that, the performance he had that was just tremendous. He has won golden boot, golden ball, he's the top scorer, top assister, he has contributed almost everywhere and has finished the tournament as a dominant performer. So overall, if I conclude, I would say that definitely Lewandowski comes next to Messi but the difference between the two is really vast. It is not like that Lionel Messi has performed in all the areas really well. Like as I said, he hasn't owned league or also he hasn't performed well in Champions League. But the problem is that the other contestant, they also have some sort of lackings. And one more thing is to remember is that still many more games are to play. Usually Ballon d'Or is announced around November or December. So things might change in this meantime. But at the same time, I'll have to say that all the titles have been decided in this meantime. If Lionel Messi's performance dips significantly or Lewandowski starts to perform monstrously, that might bring some sort of changes. But if Messi keeps doing half of what he has been doing, I think that Messi wins it. Well, just don't forget to let me know your opinion regarding Ballon d'Or. What do you think? Who should win this one and why? Comment below. I will be definitely reading those. And at the same time, if you're watching this video in Facebook, just don't forget to follow our page. And if you're watching this one in YouTube, subscribe our channel for the regular videos. A lot more videos on football are yet to come, so stay with us. And that's it for today. Hope to meet you again in the next video. Till then, everyone, stay fine. Goodbye.